Hi, I'm Tony. I'm Rachel. Back with some more Satisfactory. Um, as always, you want to see the other person's view, you can look in the description below. Rachel looks like she's going nuts. If you see a screen that looks <laughs> like it's making you dizzy, that's her. I'm staring at the moon. I think it's the moon. It's some planet. Some, some body out there. Or I'm staring at the sun. I'm Ooh. looking directly I'm at staring, the sun. <laughs> I'm staring at a star. So, uh, because, it, like, it's not the sun. Because the sun is the name of the star located inside of our solar system. Correct. Not uh, anything that you look up in <laughs> that's bright in the sky. Okay, for so first thing, uh, before we came on, instead of everybody watching us just hold down the left button, we made <laughs> uh, the pieces that we need to for both the current milestone... And for the, uh, I don't even know what this is called. What's it called? Upgrading the Sky Elevator. Yeah, the Sky Elevator upgrade. Uh, project Assembly Firework. Framework. Framework. <laughs> Although Firework would also be awesome. I don't even know. Yeah, what I, I, I just, that didn't just happen. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we got uh, the things in for that. I've got 150 motors on me. And I'm I've gonna, got 500 modular frames on me. Yeah, I'm going dropping those in. Same. And then I'll let you take that, and then that should get... Alright. We're sealing it. Yep. It's going in. I'm looking up. Are you ready to send it? Yep, send Three, it. Three, two, one. Blast off. Oh, just turn red. Here it goes. Bye. Come back with something useful. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. And kind of weird. Okay, so interesting. we fired that one off. Oh, I'm way further back than what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, now we got this thing. Yep, I've got my pieces in. There we go. Push yep. the button. Well, then that's getting fired up as well. Hey. Improved Sweet. melee combat. I'm happy about this. Ooh. More pockets. So the Xeno Zapper has improved reach and range. Is that? Do we have to make another one of those? Um, let me. Oh, got that. Xeno Zapper. Xeno Zapper Basher. Xeno Basher. <laughs> Zeno Zapper Basher. I'm adding words to stuff right now. Yeah, I see that. Okay, um, interesting. I might wait on that because I've got my gun and I'm pretty happy about it. I am also on the research front. I think we are going to select the blueprint for quick wire. Improved quick wire. Yes, so that's what... Um, here, I'm going to click on that real quick. It means we've here. only done this once. So this is what Rachel's looking at. we got three upgrades. We found that hard drive that she put it inside of it. And then gave us an option for an upgrade. And what we decided is, I think we're moving past iron plates, mm -hmm. the reinforced iron plates, and we are moving into steel. So there's the blueprint one, but the uh, the was it, Caterium? The Caterium looks like it's rare. So I think we're going to upgrade this to make it more efficient. Yep. All right, go for it. All right, let's do it. And then let's see. I'm going to select the next mission. We got oil processing. to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Ooh, this is interesting. What's that? What do we got? Uh, some very interesting things over here. Um, oh, conveyor belts mark four. Fuel, we got a, new fuel sources, so we're gonna have oil production. Ooh, that's I'm interesting. I'm guessing oil is probably where that sand is. You think? Maybe. We got rubber. Rubber. Okay. Uh, Interesting. So fuel, plastic, oil refinery, oil pumps, circuit boards, and uh, crude oil. Okay. Interesting. Why does I got a Wi-Fi symbol? It's <laughs> weird. <laughs> I didn't know crude oil had Wi-Fi. <laughs> um, Wi-Fi symbol... I don't know. I don't see that anywhere. I'm not sure. And then we have industrial manufacturing, which has computer, an upgraded truck, okay. and um, it says manufacturing. Crafts three or four parts into another part. Oh, I bet. So we're going to have to have, like, multi-use things. Yeah, that's going to take, like, four different pieces into... Hmm. 
All right, uh, let's see. Yeah. So something that takes three or four pieces and spits out a material from that. Right. And then we have tier six, which has new conveyor belts. Um, it says fuel generator. It says consumes fuel to generate electricity for your power grid. Consumes fuel. I'm guessing that has to do with the oil. Probably, yeah, considering all that is oil based. Jetpack? Yep. Sweet! I don't have to build ramps and stuff. Monorail? Yep, so. Oh, that's and then there's so a monorail. Cool. Okay. And then, uh. Oh, phenomenal! Gas mask! Gas mask to get in, so. I'm guessing the oil is actually the first place we should go for. Yeah, I think I would agree with that. So the this is interesting with the truck too. The computer. I wonder if that allows you to add logic, control advanced behavior and machines. Ooh, would actually. Would you like that? Probably better. Um, right now with what we're going. Uh, ooh, yeah, yeah. I want to do that first. Okay. Take seventy-five motors, seventy-five frames. Okay. Okay, so I will work on that. I have a I have a to-do list. I need first of all to start the next research because that's going to take time. I need some more caterium. And I'm going to get that started, and then I will do some upgrades to some uh, conveyors. Yep, so you're doing the conveyors, and that, yeah. and I'm going to go build some more um, power stations with coal. Oh, oh. You're going to so build need... them out of coal? Yes. <laughs> Just going to pack coal in around them. That's a good idea. So I need reinforced tubes. Okay, that's going to make that three. And then I need some rotors. And some wiring. Basically everything we just made. Okay. Reinforced. That, that. What is that? Oh, some more? Some more? You want some more? You know what? I have no idea what that is. I found one note of it. Why do you have your Xeno Zapper in here? Because I don't need it right now. Okay. I've got my gun and my chainsaw. Like. Oh, we got another hard drive in here too. We should probably yep. throw in. Well, I'm, um, I put the quick wire on to do the research and it won't let me take it off so now I need to finish that okay and then I'll do the next hard drive and then um oh that's the caterium all right I need to get some more rotors so it was again it was rotors and then that uses reinforced so I want to do two of those so we need six modular frames, ten rotors. The rotors are going to be a stack of that. How's my screws looking? That yeah, should be fine. Uh, reinforced frames. I could definitely use more of those, but that's we need to get that uh, conveyor. Like first thing, that should be upgraded. Yep. I am just making one more wire, and then I will do that. Okay. So I want to get this research started. So the reason why is that's going to actually pr provide the capability to make those reinforced, and we're out of them. Yep. Okay, so that is what I am working on right now, so I'm going to need some steels. And actually, I need... Oh, that's, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Clicking on material, thinking I could turn it in. <laughs> Modular frames. Okay. So I need to queue. So I got the six of those... Rotors, need more screws for those. Yeah, perfect. And then uh, I've got the rotors taken care of and then just the cables. Which I need to grab some wire for that. I think I got some right here actually. What if I up that one more? I don't know if I can build three of them. I'm going to get these two put in place. That's another hundred. Um, oh, I need to be able to build the splitter, too. Um, megawatt. So that's... So you conveyor splitter. I need two of those as well. So I need four more. And I need some iron plates. That's easy enough. Oh, more gosh. cable. What? Those screws are just like flying now. <laughs> like, 
It's insane. What do you mean they're flying? Look oh, how, how fast, fast they're, they're going. going. Oh, I see. <laughs> that's, that's like, <laughs> I accidentally stepped on the conveyor, <laughs> got like flown away. I thought you meant they were like, like you removed the thing and they were um, just like floating there. No, they are, they are moving. Iron plates. That's over there. I need more cable. Yeah, this is, this is well over what we need for that. Okay, good. Okay. All right, so it only takes one. Are there any other ones you can think to upgrade that need upgraded? Or was it just that one? Uh, for input systems, maybe, um, see that? That's fine. Um, is the plates keeping up with it now? Let's see. Yeah, the plates are, like, stacked. But um, what I'm saying is look at the throughput for the uh, plates mm -hmm. compared to the screws. Here, I'm, I'm looking at it. Ah, that's so fast. I know, that's what I'm saying. Okay. It's not even, like, dropping. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. As long as it stays at 100, we should be fine there. Yeah. Okay, that one's... That's fine. Um, this one may be able to get upgraded. No, that's not going to help. Okay, I'll uh, save it for now, then. That yeah, seems to be the only that one that's That one's not going to help. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think the screws were the primary source of contention for that. Okay. Well, that is problem solved. Man, this thing, we need to build one of those from the coal area. So you can just stand on it and it'll like rock you back down. I can. <laughs> I, I'm, no joke. I, I, I will, actually. Let me, uh, I don't. I don't know if I want to use that much resource for that reason. Okay. All right, this is actually empty now. I can get rid of it. Okay, and then the steel. All right, that's awesome. All right, I've gotten rid of the second stack there. Now the steel's going directly into here and out. Okay. And then, um, stack-wise, this actually looks like it's fairly compact. Let's see if there's any backlog on this. I don't think there would be. Nope. nope. This is going right at about the speed of, to keep up with the uh, conveyor belt right now. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's doing fine. That's doing fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a spot that we need to upgrade from. Okay, awesome. I am working on the next upgrade. Industrial manufacturing. Just gonna go make those so we can get more power. And we can make uh, improvements and larger things where we want to. Mm -hmm. We aren't nearing the cap of our power, are we? Um... I don't think we are, but part of the thing is like we have worms on those right now. Mm -hmm. So if I can increase the power generated through the um, coal yeah. instead of the worms, then what I can do is take those worms off and increase the power usage. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. So it's it's one of those things that like three worms get me gets me up to 101 uh, megawatt, mm -hmm. which is not. Um, it, it doesn't proportionally show an increase um if it's 50 by default one worm one like basically the number of worms it takes to get up to that does not proportionally pay off well enough for uh the throughput okay i see what you're saying so what i would prefer instead is the capability to um have more of these things which we can easily afford at the, this moment. Right. Can you rotate the way I want you to? Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. It's this mouse. It's 
one of the older mouse. It's one of my older mouse. So when I scroll the wheel, it's a little bit soft now, so it'll over scroll really easily. Mm -hmm. Can I get this to? Come on. Yeah, sometimes placing things is a little bit hard in this. Yeah. You can't like zoom out to see where the heck you are. Ooh, I don't think I can place. I cannot place two. Crap. Okay, don't I can have place. Room? No, I can. I can deal with it though. It's fine. Okay. Um, might be able to put one. It's the. I think it's. There's like a rock that uh, face that's over the top of it. Mm. Um, so that eats so that splitter. Yeah. Caps two go. I'm gonna throw another one over here. Nope, don't have concrete. That's right, I'll just connect up. There's another slot on that one. I'll get another one in there in a bit. Okay. Alright, so that throws fifty on there. I do want to get another one going. Yeah, we're up to three twenty one and we're using Tapping out right around 192. Oh, okay. So we've almost yeah. double capacity. Um, not quite, but we we've got room. Okay. Um, I need to, but that's the whole thing is like taking the worms off this. We're going to start losing that room. Mm-hmm. Right. So I want to get the coal. Let's see how do I? Pretty sure I cannot get one to fit in this area. Yeah, it's a shame we can't do some terraforming, like take out the side of that thing. Yeah, because it's just a like a little bit of the side of that hill that's kind of eaten into the space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can put it in there any place. If I try to put it too far forward. So I might actually do the thing that we kind of talked about earlier on with uh, start spreading it out over the top. Okay. Yeah, just building more of the platform kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, so that goes there. Either that or... Ooh, actually, I got... You got a better far? idea? Kind of. I need more concrete, though, to do this. No matter which way I go, I need concrete. Should have brought that with me. Okay. You want me to run any Whoa, up to you? No, I about just ran off the edge, though. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Well, I was trying to get on the conveyor belt instead I was running along the outside edge of it. Mm. Luckily enough, there is, like, a little bit of stickiness to the corner of these things because there's, <laughs> uh, like, a lip. Right, so you don't just go flying off the edge? Yeah, so if I go a little bit to the edge, I can feel myself hit it before, like, obviously I can't feel myself hit it, but right. video game version of feeling <laughs> myself hit it. I am making all the pieces. For the upgrade? Yes. Oh, wow, yeah. So many of the pieces. I'm doing the modular frames right now. I'm gonna check on those reinforced frames real quick. I'm just curious how... I just took a whole bunch off. Oh, well, we're already... Let's see, 19. Yeah, it's still not fast. Should be able to look at the um, output, right? X per minute. Yeah, but that, I think that's optimal with the uh, full efficiency. Okay. I don't know like what we're sitting on inside of that area. Ooh, 
Ooh, yeah, we're full in concrete over here. I'm gonna take three of those. I think I'm gonna take the truck over there. Okay, go for it. That's faster, right? It is, yeah. Can I drive it? There we go. <laughs> Bye! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I just saw you drive by. Okay, I just kind of got it stuck a little bit. <laughs> uh oh. I just saw some powers. <laughs> no! Uh oh. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> See if I can hit it. There it goes. Steering on it's a little bit rough sometimes. Mm. All right, how am I gonna actually? Ooh, I don't think I can drive it over here. Down the ramps? No, it's just no place for me to get through where this is at. Oh yeah, we need to make a, a walkway thing. Uh, take it over the other side, but still, it's not whatever. ideal. I'll run it. <laughs> It'll just sit over here for now. I think eventually I'm going to need some sort of uh, system for that. Just as much as we have to go this way. I don't know. Once we get the oil thing going, maybe that'll replace some of that. Yeah, maybe. Once we get the oil thing going. We gotta figure that ooh. out. Oh, that could be a woo. You sure you're good over there? Nope. <laughs> That's twice now you've almost fallen to your death. You no, know, I had a headache earlier and I took something for it, and I don't know if I'm just being a little bit slow because of that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I just about. I, I don't normally react in games like that, and I just about ran off the edge of it, and I felt that like uh, that jarring feeling. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like a jar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that I can <jarring>. relate. <laughs> that, have you ever felt like a jar? <laughs> <laughs> Are you having jar jar feelings today? Yeah. Yeah, we can afford so much more on this. So my idea is, see where... So we've got these ones right here. Mm -hmm. And then that one's going off the other line. Well, why don't I just build on this side? And then see where the splitter? Go right up into that. There you go. And just have them be on two sides. Yep. The only question that I've got with this is am I going to bump into, like... Anything over here is going to not let me. Yeah, so it's encroaching there. I think that's wide enough, though. Yeah, it should be big enough. Now I can actually put quite a few more on this. Um, let's see, I want to put that node right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, no. I want to put it... Right there. And then one on this end so I can hook that through. There we go. And then I need to place another one at the base. Is it better for me to... I do it like that, because I like being able to see the difference between the connections. I don't want to... be in one of those issues where it's questionable. That one connects there. When I, I built that set earlier to where they were like super tight together and I couldn't tell what the hell one was connected to which one. Mm, yeah, so keeping them separated is probably better. Yeah, getting enough of a gap to where I can see that. All right. Yeah, let's get this going. Is that enough room? Why is it saying I can't afford? Because I got 14 out of 15 of the wires. That sucks. Oh no. That's okay. I want to build three of them anyways. 
And then I could take those worms off and start shoving them on our actual manufacturing. Mm -hmm. or I guess they're slugs, not worms. I keep calling them worms. Same either way, really. I don't know. Worms might be offended by that. <laughs> I don't want to get the worm union or the yeah, the worm people. I agree. Uh, worm or slug union. I don't know which one would come after me. What's going on here? What's even happening? What's going on? <laughs> the um. Screws are going so quickly through the storage container that we're not building them up anymore. Yeah, that's. I figured that was going to happen. Yep. I'm. I'm going to bring back some worms and increase the screw production. Okay. I am going to be manually making a whole lot of rods and screws for the next little while. And that is okay. You can, if you want to, get a. Um, uh, what do they call it? Constructor? Throw it down next to you and throw like some material on it. It'll increase your speed at least to some degree. You can always break it down when you're done. Um, uh, yeah, I could. I think I'm just... We've got the power that you can just throw it down, throw a power line up to it, and then throw some material on it. I think it's probably just going to be faster me doing it. I'm on the last piece. I need to make 75 motors. Yeah, but then it wouldn't... It's not going to hurt just to have like one chilling out over here. That if we ever want to make something, it's just... Here, I can throw it down right now, actually, have I got... Okay. Let's see, let's do it. Well, where do we want to put it? Maybe I was going to put it right up here in the front. Um, We could do that. How do we get the pieces into it, then? You could just manually put them in. Oh, okay. And I'll just put it right up here. We could actually, with this piece, too... And, uh, let's see, do I have enough to make one of those? Yes, I do. So, there's an assembler here. And a, um, constructor there. Okay. And if you go on it, you can choose what to make. Like screws. And then if you just throw a stack of rods and it, it'll start making it. I do need to connect up the power, though. Okay. For that to work. Alright, I will probably go ahead and do that. Oh, no, I cannot do that. Ooh, you can accidentally delete the sky elevator. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, don't, please don't delete the sky elevator. I guess then we could just place it back down. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know if that loses any kind of the like progress that we have with yeah. it. Yeah. I'd prefer not to, let's put it that way. Yeah. Can't afford missing cable. Uh, did you need some concrete? Because I have some on me. No, I, I, I already got it. Okay. We have uh, the container is almost full of concrete. Um, cable. I do need to make some more rotors and stuff because I just used it for those. Mm hmm. That's kind of what I'm working on because I need to make the 75 motors. So I'm working on the rotors. All right, so that's sitting out there now. You should be able to use that. Just throw some things on there and tell it to make screws. That's exactly what I'm going to do right now. So that will be helpful. Not at least it's not fast, but it's one of those things that even if it's a little bit, it helps. Yeah. Where does it put it then? You just pick it back up off the right side. Okay, that works. All right, and what was I doing? I need. Sweater, cold generator. Even wire. Conveyors, what, where's the splitter at? I can never seem to find this. I don't think it's ever. Oh, it's in logistics. That's right. We are certainly using up those resources. That is a good thing. 
Yeah, it's about trying to improve the automation at this point, though. Mm -hmm. right, I need more rods and screws. That seems to be one of our big stopping points. Yeah, for sure. I might crank up that rod production. Yeah, so that's a that's a choke point for us now. So I'm gonna once I get those other ones put in, I'm going to crank this rod production up as high as it goes. That would be good because we are definitely running out of those real fast. Yeah, and kind of the weird part about it is like we're not using plates hardly at all. Mm-hmm. has completed its analysis. So we can... I, I wonder if it'd be good for me right now to... So right now I've got this thing split. Yeah. I could turn the plate one off, turn it to... Uh, yeah, actually that's well, what I'm gonna do. Well, the plate one is feeding the reinforced plates, right? We still need those. Yeah, but uh, look how many I've got. Yeah, I'm saying turn true. it off for just a little bit and let the, the thing mm. catch up. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. And then I got that one going there, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And then I'm going to change what it makes. Let's see, production. Rods. So that's making rods now, and then that's going to feed out to the rods for the moment. There. So now we got... They're both making rods, and they're feeding into the two containers. Okay. Because we haven't had any issues with plates, and we've got... Let's see, two, four, six, eight... I don't know how many... Yeah, we got, like, 2,400 plates. 25... 2,574. So I'm not too awful worried about that at this point. I do want rods. I'm just gonna make some. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. So we do have this entire container of ore right here as well. What so, type of ore? Uh, no. Iron. Iron ore, okay. So I might take this off, get another constructor making rods, and get that actually pumping in over there. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Anything we can do to up that right now? Probably yeah, because that seems to be a choke point for us. Let's make some rudders! Why is it not saying that? Oh, because I need the screws from that, that's right. So, um, that's probably, I'll use that other container to start making rods out of that. Okay. So, I'll make that into uh, more iron ingots um, through a smelter. And then um, into another container. And then into, or can I actually merge that into the same container? No, because that's not going to help me. So, uh, yeah, it's basically just another entire assembly line. Okay. And I'll merge that into the the line. I'll just have to figure out how to place things. I like how the um, the craft button, if you hold it down, like, starts turning <laughs> red hot. Yeah. And, like, shaking a little bit. Makes me feel like it's going to blow up. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me nervous. It's kind of cool. It's more than just a button. They actually added a yeah, a little bit of thing to it. Definitely makes it more interesting. Got yeah, fifteen of those. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we are not even close to keeping up on the screw production. So that's gonna the rods and the screws. Are yep. the two things that we want to ramp up. Yeah, because it looks like all of the rest of the milestones when I was looking at them earlier require like motors and things like that, and that's gonna 
That's going to need a lot more of those. Well, do, should I start automating making some motors then? Probably, but we need those to do it. To do what? To make the motors, because we need to set up a, an assembly for the rotors based off of the rods and screws. And but then, that's what I'm saying. Should I uh, put inside this assembly line, like right over here, should I put a, a motor generator, a motor maker? I, f I feel like yes. Okay, I'll... Let me finish this to get the power in place for it. So I should be able to make... Yeah, I can make three um, coal generators now. Oh, awesome. Can I get around the back there with this? Here. I don't know if I can just drive over the... <laughs> Things don't break in this game, so... Yeah? As long as I make it over, I make it over. There you go. Well, that's cool. I just straddled the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that, oh, there's a rock there. I can. There we go. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, I still got some rocks here, too, though. I wish you could. New technologies <laughs> have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in hub tier five. All right, I will be checking this that out. This thing does not have traction for being a low torque kind of tractor-like thing. It does not have traction. I'm a little bit scared. I should have maybe made this a little bit bigger if I was going to drive a tractor down it. <laughs> I have concrete on me. I think I might widen it out. Woo! I hit a pole. Oops, what am I doing? I need this one. Not sure that saved me any time, actually. <laughs> maybe, maybe just walk in <laughs> until I figure out a. There's that monorail thing. Oh yeah. Maybe we uh we can get that set up to. I'm not sure. Take ourselves there and back. Yeah, we can set up a little monorail to um. Move us between positions. That'd be awesome. I'm very excited about that. Seriously, I'm one plate short. You know what? You know what the nice thing about um, driving that thing over here? So you can make it on the workbench. Well, I don't have any material. Never mind. Power should be See that's upgraded, right? Oh I don't have it connected in there. Yeah, our power just went up another hundred, but as soon as I get a one more plate on me I can actually turn that up to hundred and fifty more. Which means I can take some of these down. Take some of the... The worms off. Okay. Put those in better places, maybe. Yeah. That way we can improve production instead of um, 
power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's those off. And... Do I have... Yeah, screw it, it's a short run. I'll just use one of the reinforced ones. I don't think it's worth me running all the way back. Right. Yeah, it looks like it's going fine. Okay, that puts us at 350. Awesome. All right. And then a new milestone. milestone new milestone. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. Sixty-four. One. That's working all there. That these are completely backed up, which is good. Can I put another one down here? I don't think I have the material on me, but I just want to see if it'll fit. If I do have the material, another generator, you mean? Yeah, I am. I do not have enough frames. And, yeah, that will not fit over there. Yeah, floor is too steep. Even if I put that down, I think that's gonna... Oh, I don't know. Ooh, interesting. So I'm looking at the um, Caterium research that we did. Mm -hmm. And it unlocked Caterium Electronics, which gives us a smart splitter. So you can uh, tell the, uh, the splitter which parts should go to the left and which should go to the right. AI limiter, super advanced electronics. Oh, logic. Logic, supercomputer, and a high-speed connector. Oh, that that's nice. Yeah, so that um, that's that's so many things. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> We're gonna have to definitely automate um, at least the modular frames. Yeah, we can start getting on those. Those are reinforced. What what is it to make those again? It is uh, three reinforced, six rods. Yeah, we can get those start going. We're, it's just about cranking up the rod production at this rate. Mm -hmm. Got to be careful driving this on these bridges. <laughs> Dangerous bridges. Yep. I am going to that there for the moment. That way you don't have to take it back over the machinery. Yeah. <laughs> Those aren't too awful bad to make. Where are you heading? I am going to get some more Caterium to start that next uh, research. I think actually uh, we might be able to end this one here. Okay. So I think I'm um, kind of at a decent benchmark spot here. Yep. So I just got the power up. Oh, you do have screws on here. Oh, okay. yes. I forgot to take those Throw off. Throw them on the... That's fine. Um, I think we need to crank up the rod production, and I think that's mm -hmm. my next big thing. Yes. Is, uh, my next big thing. <laughs> um, entrepreneur, next big thing. Yeah. Make more rods. Yeah. And then um, I will start automating some of those frames. Awesome. And then uh, right now I am trying to get one more coal in place because once I start doing this, I'm going to, yeah, I'm at 350. I'm going to start consuming the hell out of resources. Okay. And so one of the things I can do right now is like do this. There you go. Yeah, bump that up. Those are going much faster now. Awesome. And then uh, on top of that, so wh for anybody looking at Rachel's view, I just cranked up both the rod production systems to uh, max. And then the screw production system, I can 
put two of them on there. Okay. And that's all that we have, right? That no, I've got one more. Um, just trying to think if I need to put it on anything else. So that's cranked up to max for the plates. Mm -hmm. that Here, actually, longer. I'll just do the screws. So that's... There you go. That's more plates. And that's going through. And then um, I am going to have to start putting the plates back on. I'll get that built up on the next one. And then um, I'm going to go, oh, that's much further than what I want to jump. <laughs> yeah, okay, so where are you at? I'm hitting Caterium. Oh, you're hitting Caterium. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's upgrades. I'm going to get the other line in, get another rod production system. So I think I'm going to put it, like, right here. Okay. And then I'll wrap the assembly line just right down through here and merge it in right there. Okay. Actually, I probably won't even merge it. I'll probably have, like, this one's an insert for that line. And then that one's going to be an insert for the other line. That sounds good. And then um, we'll pick that up on the next one soon as um, I find a good... Oh, good. It's all smoggy. Does not cause... Uh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Does not cause pollution. Yes. Does not appear to cause pollution. I'm running back. I'm almost back. You're fine. You don't need to. You can stay out there if you want to. No. No, I want to come back. I'm coming home. You can dance if you want to. Are you are you dancing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the sun dance. I see that. <laughs> are you stabbing the sun? Stab the sun. All right, I'm good. All right, we will stop it here, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.